how to balance work and side hustle. So how do you do them both? I'm going to talk about three things that are absolutely imperative. And number one is overworking is not the solution. So we're going to talk about some ideas and tips and things that I've used to do before I jumped completely. Number two, how do you prioritize that side hustle? Because you got to give it some time. You got to give it some love or it's not going to make any money. It's just going to be a waste of your time. And number three, believe it or not, I'm going to say, how do you prioritize yourself, your self-care, you and your family inside of this? Being a single mom, I know a lot about it. So get a pen and paper for those of you who are serious about making some extra extra money. So number one, overworking is not the solution, meaning you're not going to go to a 40 hour job. And if you've got another, you know, 10 hours or 20 hours of commute and then come home and do something else. People who do a side hustle end up beyond exhausted. So first of all, let's talk about what your side hustle should be. Something darn easy. That's super easy. You already do it. You already do photography. You already do some art. You already make some jewelry. You already, you know, prepare food. You love cooking. You love tutoring. My son has made so much money, money tutoring. And just recently, some younger guy asked him to mentor him. And I said, yeah, you just charge more money. Like it's tutoring on steroids. You just charge more money. It's like that. So whatever you want to call it, you could all make more money and you've got to put it inside your life. So don't do a new invention, something brand new that you have to learn on top of your job. So this isn't the time to go pick up a new skill set. This is strengthen the skills you have today, even if you don't like them. Like if you're a teacher, have a tutoring company, do the obvious. If you're doing web or tech or copywriting for a newspaper or media outlet, then do some copy and editing on the side, freelance on the side. By the way, it is in high, high demand. Anything digital marketing is in high demand. If you have any of those skill sets, you can go out on any social channel and get business. The question is, when are you going to do it so you're not overworking? So I'm going to introduce you to a thing called time blocking. So you got to time block based on your energy. So obviously you got to go your, do your job. So when you do your side hustle, you'll have marketing things to do, which is producing content for social media to get people interested. You're going to have sales calls you have to do through appointments, and then you have fulfillment to do. So I cannot tell you that you need to hire fast, as fast as you can. It's one of the biggest mistakes I made. I kept trying to do everything myself. And for those of you that are parents, get yourself some home help immediately if you're seriously going to attempt this. And that side hustle, by the way, has to be incorporated. So I'm going to click on the link below and you're going to have an appointment with our entity and our generational wealth team because you're not going to do this as a sole proprietor. The reason that I want you in a side hustle for those of you that have jobs is to take advantage of the tax code. You don't have to make a ton of money in the side hustle to activate the entire 81,000 pages of tax code. But you have to have a business, not a sole proprietor. It has to be an LLC, S Corp, C Corp, limited partnership, and a trust in the United States. So that's my first gift is a free appointment with our team. Have an entity and a trust review or set up. And uh, that's the most critical. So again, not overworking. How are you going to time block and put these tasks in? Are you going to get up earlier in the morning? I remember I was working for Chevron. I knew I was going to jump because I got the contract with the Rich Dad Poor Dad team as the master distributor of the cash flow game. So knowing I was going to jump, I got up earlier and I did a lot of my creative, call it marketing then. I would skip lunch with others and I would take sales calls because I had a good hour. I could do four appointments easily in an hour. And then I would do that later at night. And then on the weekends or I picked one evening, I would do any like coaching fulfillment. So a lot of you have it tangled up because you're employees and you think all your fulfillment is going to drive this. Marketing and sales drives a company. Sales drives a company. Without sales, you have no cash. This is, you're just an emotional entrepreneur. Total waste of your time. I wouldn't even start. Number two, really critical. As you prioritize the side hustle, you really have to block time. And that means you got to block it with your family. You're not going to be home every night for dinner. You're not going to have a dinner at the same time. You've really got to put a schedule together because too many people start side hustles. They're exhausted all week. And then they take the weekend off to recover and they really never get it going. So if you're serious, you got to time block in and prioritize the side hustle as part of your life. Don't think of it as a personal life and a professional life as fast as you can integrate it. Know what you're doing. Like is your goal to quit or just make some extra money? That is actually critical to how do you design this? Like my goal was to quit. So I have a whole strategy on how to get out in 90 days. You can go up to the search bar and, uh, you know, search for how do you get out of your job in 90 days? How do you like work as an entrepreneur inside of your own company? And more importantly, I have tons of videos on why you need an entity so you can activate the greatest tax code in the world. So while you're clicking around on search terms, you might as well subscribe to my channel, click the notification button, share it with 10 people. Like the people that are around you need to be supportive in this conversation. This isn't 
isn't a silent thing you do. You know, Bob Proctor used to say, money, sex, and God, nobody talks about them. Well, I need to talk about money and I want you to start talking about it to your friends and family. I need to bring this conversation into your world. Otherwise, you're the only person out in you know, a sphere of influence having this conversation. You can't be there by yourself. Prioritize the side hustle with the goal. Are you quitting your job or are you just making some extra money? Either way, the only way you get to live corporate life the way that I describe it, which is how you get wealthy, is live through a company. Activate the tax code, employ your children. If you don't have some, get some, they're tax deductible. You now get to write off your phone. You can write off travel. You can start doing business trips. I can tell you, I would kind of go straight from the side hustle to a hustle. Let's get to six, seven figures as fast as we can and get out of that job. But in the meantime, what else do you need to do? Self-care. Now I'm gonna put self-care under the context of also getting yourself home help and a team. Those of you, especially moms, um, and I'm, I did this as a single mom, and I've just gotta give a little coaching to single parenting. Don't behave like it's some victim status, like, oh, what happened to me? Now I'm a single parent. When I got pregnant with Logan, I knew I was gonna be a single mom. So I took it on with a vengeance. I said, I'm gonna do this very differently. I'm gonna create the money that I want to have the life that I want with him. Then it was him at the time. And so take it on seriously and get home help. You don't need to go grocery shopping. You don't need to drive them to every little event. You need to be at the event, but do you need to sit in the traffic and do all the practice driving? Do you need to have food prep, home care? Do you have somebody to clean your house? All of that is going to give you the time back to care for yourself, number one. And when you do have time, I have always said as a parent, you want quality over quantity all the time with your children. So start pre, you know, time blocking that as well of when you need to be where with your family, get home help. It is not like a weak thing to do. It's a smart thing to do. And because right behind that, I want you to hire a scheduler. So then on those lunch breaks or the weekends or evenings, when you have your appointments, somebody's setting those appointments for you. So those are your number one and number two hires as you are employed, starting a side hustle, get yourself some home help. So part of that is all taken care of and then get yourself a scheduler so you have sales appointments. Those two things will get you to six figures, I guarantee you. So click on the link below. I'll see you at my Millionaire Intensive. And oh, as you join our community and continue to come back, you can come back to a marketplace every three weeks to get leads from us. Usually there's about 50 to 70 people. You're gonna be able to make sales every three weeks on this side hustle. And uh, it goes from 10 o'clock to six o'clock Pacific. So some of you might just have to call in sick for that afternoon. More important you're with us making money than where you are. So prioritize yourself, prioritize the side hustle, and learn to make a lot of money. Last thing I wanna do is I want to offer you $750 of a Laurel, it's called Laurel Bucks credit. So we are incenting people to binge watch this channel, why? I need you financially and business smart. So not only reading all six books, but really consume this content and then integrate it into your life. That's how you become a millionaire. That's how your family gets healthier financially. We'll talk to you tomorrow.